Well, hello, everybody, for Anxiety Simplified, now going beyond psychology with the mother-daughter duo. I am Joanne Williams, a 30-year mental health professional, sharing the science of psychology with Anselmine, so glad you're here today, <laughs> but it's really more of a mystic, goes beyond the mind's understanding, and uses alternative energy healing. And today really is about me doing an actual session with Sarah. She did it with me two shows ago. So you guys can see that. <laughs> but I'm going to use some of my emotional energy work um, that I use in my practice, but from a uh, psychological perspective that I use in individual sessions or in my seminars or workshops. So we're going to use three techniques today. And I will, um, I'm going to talk you through those because you know, maybe I will just show this real quick light because um, what I'm going to show you, I guess I'm not, what I'm going to do is three techniques. One is a is breath work that uses to calm somebody, right? The second one, we include the breath work, but do it for a topic on some issue that you can feel is stuck in your body. So Sarah's mm -hmm. going to tell us that issue and all we're going to do and these take a couple minutes. So these are not going to take very long, but we're just going to hold it, be present and wait for a shift. Usually people will get a visual or an auditory message. And that's what we would use in the next third technique, the three scenes where we actually do visual imagery of the issue as a problem and then take it to a project with a challenge and then you resolve it using the imagery that in your emotional side and they've just been so effective and this is something that's practiced so it generally is not just done once you can then practice this if it doesn't go away a lot of these will be gone and you'll notice the shift but you got to kind of notice though what is different because a lot of times if you don't know this you'll go back to some old habits mm -hmm. and it will bring it back so this is to be practiced okay okay and i will kind of just review a little bit from our last show. When clients come into my office, they usually have a trauma or an issue that they want, you know, to talk about or to deal with, like anxiety uh, or in social situations or depression, post-traumatic stress disorder. But most of my practice is more non-traditional. We talk. <laughs> and then after that, that, then we start to talk some more about how this is energetic and how energy is an emotion that flows. And to allow this emotion to flow through you, because this is probably something stuck. You And Sarah, you called it residue in the last show. I love that word. It's just an emotional residue that may be there, even if some of old issues are done. So yeah. we'll work with that. But I really work to accomplish with clients whatever it is that they want. And most of it is emotional. So that they're not denying it, avoiding it pushing it down to deal with later <laughs> till it comes up it's sooner or later. Um, and so you can always see this where I'm going to put this up also as a, a video on my Roku show. You can find on Roku anxiety simplified is the name of the show and also on YouTube. And I have a YouTube channel called anxiety simplified podcast that you can actually see some of this as we do it. I think in, in you know, in podcast land, of course you can see it on class press, so I will describe it. But sometimes if you're seeing this, you can actually see changes in faces, their facial color, you might even see the shoulders drop. There is some visual parts to this that are kind of nice to see, okay? So Sarah, if you're ready, what issue would you like to uh, go through these uh, three different techniques with me today? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I've realized I have a belief that I don't have enough time to do the things I need to, want to, or desire to do, which does cause me some anxiety thinking about all of the things I want to get done. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I recently went through a transition of, of working less traditional hours and more on my business. And, and I thought that there would be a greater your change. Your business of what? Tell us your, bi my, your my, new business. 
uh, yes, my spiritual business. So creating courses and, and workshops and, and videos for people to be able to join online. And so this creation process, so that's really where my time and focus has gone. So I have more hours to dedicate to it, but I find that I have this hamster wheel of belief that I don't have enough time for everything. And I thought it would get better when I be, when I started to have more time, but I'm realizing it's deeper than that. And so when, when I think about all that I need to get done, it used to be just a fact that the, the amount of hours I had dedicated in a day were very limited. I don't live in that world anymore, but I still help hold the belief of it. Yeah. And that's interesting. And so it's still kind of there. And so what we want to do again, allow that flow, just let it release and feel the relief. So all we're going to do is start with the four and eight breathing technique, which is the vagus nerve breathing technique that when you do it, it releases a calming chemical into your system to feel calmed. So that's all we're going to do for the first minute. Okay. I'm going to do five rounds of the four and eight breathing, which is basically breathing in through your nose to the count of four, and then breathing out your mouth to the count of eight. So that's all we're going to do for one minute. Really, the medical research has found it's better to do it for two minutes, three times a day in your practice to keep accumulating calm. But for this, I find when I do this with client, you notice something even in one minute. So for today, and then it, we do it again in the emotional tension relief as part of it as well. Okay, so we'll kind of do it twice anyways. All right, so all I want you to do first is to notice how you feel before. We do the four and eight breathing, and then what you notice afterwards, you can just sit comfortably. And then all we're going to do is breathe in through your nose, and I'll count it off in the beginning, and then I'll have you just kind of count it in your head. You don't have to say it out loud. You know, just, and I'll tell you when we're done, or I'll count it off the last one, okay? So breathe in through your nose to the count of four, three, two, one. Breathe out your mouth, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose, four. Breathe out your mouth, eight. Breathe in through your nose, four. And join in with us, audience. Breathe out, eight. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth, eight. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. One more time, breathe in through your nose, four, three, two, one. Breathe out through your mouth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then just kind of notice how you feel and where do you notice it in your body, your mind? When we started just talking about my belief of lack of time, I could feel it getting tighter in my chest <laughs> and that um, it's kind of around my lungs and breathing. So it was the second round of the four and eight that I could feel the release start with it. And, you know, I, I'm used to tapping into the energy of my body. I'm used to tapping into kind of those um, energetic shifts. And that's definitely what it was. I could feel, I don't, I don't know, you know, what happens in the brain, but if there was a release of, of chemicals to relax or whatever, that stimulation of the virg the vagus nerve, I could feel it starting to move down my back and, um, and down through, your back. Through, so you could feel it was on back. my back. Okay. Yeah. And, um, so, and, and I heard you felt it in your chest. Did it feel like it released kind of something is what I oh, heard? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
And I want you to just notice in your brain anything that it did. Did it change anything there for you? A lot of times what I hear is it makes more clarity. I was just going to say it feels <laughs> clearer. Like there's just yeah. less fog or less mm -hmm. you know, things I'm wading around in. Thinking. I, what, the other one I hear, it, it stops your thinking. Mm -hmm. Did you notice any of that, that your thoughts were not as as rapid or going through your mind? I did not, but thinking about it now, I could, you know, anytime I go into a relaxed state, I would say it feels like things just slow down inside of my head. And, and that mm -hmm. definitely holds truth. Um, but I didn't recognize it at the moment, but definitely the sensation of being relaxed and in that relaxed state, um, which is very easy for me to go into because I practice a lot um, and meditate a lot. So it's, it, it is a easy state for me to flip on. Um, and it definitely felt like that's what happened. Good. And so audience, you can do this. And what the medical researchers found is to practice this, like there was a practice three times a day for two minutes. We just did it one minute and she could feel effects. That's what I do with clients. They always feel something, but this has been proven with medical research to help with with lowering your heart rate, your blood pressure, inflammation, seizure disorders, migraine headaches. Um, and, it, and it kept kind of going on and on. Sleep is another big one. Just to count the numbers as you breathe in and count the numbers as you breathe out and keep doing that. And I find it really helps even deeper sleep. So that's another one where you can use the four and eight Vegas breathing. Nice. So now we're gonna go into the second technique, which I call the emotional tension release. And basically, we're going to do the four and eight again on where you feel this belief kind of sounds like in your head, but about time and lack of time and not having enough kind of time. And can you identify, including you already said you're do you notice where you feel it in your body? Yeah, it's in my chest. I would say my chest. Like my um, or like my rib cage kind of, it doesn't okay. feel like, rib cage. you know, it's not heart. It's not that it's, it's more of, okay. hmm. sounds lower, like lower than your heart. No, I would say here. No. Okay. Yeah. So here is a little kind of above your heart then. Um, yeah. okay. So what I'm going to have Sever do is we're going to hold your hand, one hand on that area in your chest. The other hand, I'm going to ask you to ground it. Just put it down on something. So that's face down someplace. And we're going to do the four and eight breathing again for a minute. And what we're looking for or waiting for is a relief or a release of this feeling I'm going to call it tension <laughs> in your chest. That is that belief about lack of time, but you can focus on that feeling in your chest of the lack of time, not enough time. And I want you to just stay present with it. And I think this is part of this practice that most of us really don't do very often is being present with a feeling mm -hmm. in our body. And that's what this is drawing attention to as we do it, is being present. We're not avoiding it. We're not trying to not deny it. We're staying with, and sometimes this can get a little uncomfortable, like anxiety and feel like, oh, I can't stand this. I don't want to do it. I want to avoid this. And when that happens, then when you bail out, you're actually reinforcing the fear. We don't want to do that or the anxiety. We want to just stick with it, sit with it and allow it. You know, it's going to calm you when you do the four and eight breathing now. So we're going to do the four and eight breathing. We're just going to allow that chemical to calm us. And at the same time, we're going to wait for the relief or the release and you get a message. So I want you also, a lot of times it's, well, sometimes people do get it in the beginning, but most times it's more towards the end. And some people can see things and see it visually. And some people will hear a message. And so I'm going to do this with you because I often see 
an image also so we can share whatever happens in this. I can actually almost start to feel this myself in your chest. And so all we're going to do is start and do the four and eight breathing. So start as you just stay present and breathe in through your nose to the count of four, three, two, one, breathe out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe in through your nose as you four, as you just stay present with this feeling in your chest about time, breathe out, eight, as you just sit with this feeling, breathe in through your nose, four, noticing what's happened, a shift, waiting for a shift as you breathe out, Breathe in through your nose. As you just wait for a message, relief, or shift. Breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Even if it gets a little uncomfortable, stay with it and wait for a little visual or a message, or you can tell me when you do feel it and breathe out, breathe in. The shift or breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And then we just look to feel, did you feel the shift? I did. It was right there towards the end. And it grew to be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, to get a little, you can feel it a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was a depth of, I guess, anxiety would be the word that I would use. Um, that is not a typical state for me. Um, but I could feel that, that rising, but I was surprised that the message was more about disappointment than, mm -hmm. you know, the actual, I don't know if, if it was thing just that like, we're talking about. It, it wasn't the exact thing. What was the message then? It, it was about disappointment. Like it was about not doing all of the things and that the feeling actually behind it was a feeling that of this would really be about disappointment and disappointing myself or disappointing others. Mm -hmm. And it's not really about the things and doing things. It's about that fear of disappointment. And um, the feeling of disappointing yeah. yourself or others. Oh, God. Yeah. So I didn't have any, I, I mean, we didn't talk about this before right now. So <laughs> I had no idea what no expectations, um, but the shift that I saw visually, I, so I had a knowingness that they put okay for me uh, that it was about the disappointment, but then the visual that they gave me was showing my children when it was chaotic and they were young and three toddlers and just the busyness that started and they evolved the picture into them being teenagers and independent and le and flying the coop. And so, you know, that was more about the transition that happened. And, and they gave me that visual um, there at the end and transformed the chaos of when this started, this lack of time belief. Um, when I had three young children and evolved them into being the young adults that they are now and independent and they don't need me the same way that they used to. So that was the vision. That can be a, a different disappointment <laughs> or yeah, a different yeah. Kind of too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so now the third technique, we're going to take that disappointment if you want to take it further yeah. and into the what is the three scenes. This is what uh, used to be called a, net, uh, or a partial of NLP and neuro linguistic program that also Jose Silva, Mind Valley, really is a technique that really we're going to use. And what we're going to do is three scenes. The first scene is the so-called problem, and we're going to call it a problem right now about your disappointment. 
The second scene is seeing it more as a project, a challenge, I'll deal with this, the steps I'm taking to deal with it. And the third one is resolved. It's just done. You're finished. Okay. okay. And again, this will take what it takes. And usually it's a, it's a minute or so, but you're going to tell me when you're done with the scene so that we'll move on. Okay. Okay. So all I want you to do is imagine yourself sitting in a big theater, like a movie theater with a huge black screen in front of you. I want it at least six feet in front of you and tilt it up a little bit about 20 degrees. And just so you're looking up a little bit above the horizon. And now I want you to project up onto the screen like a movie of your so-called problem of feeling disappointed, not getting enough done, seeing other people in this that are disappointed with you because of this. And I want you to make this even negative, negative, if you want to, in that sense, oh, I can't, I don't know how, I'll never, kind of just egg this up in a negative sense of what the way the pressures I'm hearing that you're putting on yourself. See this, this projection of the movie that you're creating that a filmmaker is actually seeing of your problem, but just see it up on the screen, see it big, see it bright, and see that at this point and feel the emotions of it. See it as color, see it vivid, see that ickiness of it, feel it as, oh, I don't like this. I don't want to feel this, but they just go into it. Oh, I'm so disappointed with myself. And so my kids are so disappointed. I can't stand it. I'd hate this problem. I don't want it anymore. I'm so frustrated with it. Just really just feel it. I get up and yep. then as soon as you're ready, we will move to the second scene, okay? And so the second scene, we're gonna shift your view 15 degrees to your left. And we're gonna see the, see the movie theater again and in front of you, the big black screen. And you're gonna project up on the screen. Now you're gonna see this movie as, it's no longer a problem. This is just a challenge or this is just a project I'm going to take care of. And, you know, and I want you to see the steps that you are taking to be able to resolve this project or this challenge about disappointing others or this lack of time and never getting enough done. And as a mother and now an entrepreneur and all these things that you're just not getting done. See yourself doing it. See the meditations you're doing. See all the work you're doing on yourself. See all the things, right? The steps that you are taking to resolve this. Okay. And just see that, feel that, see other people helping you possibly. And when you're ready, we shift to the third scene. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So now we go to, again, 15 degrees to your left again. And now you're going to see the big screen again in the movie theater. You're projecting the resolve. Of the, you know, and just seeing this as finished, done. And I want you to feel the triumph, the joy of accomplishing everything you need to and the time you need to. There's never a problem about time. You control time. You can do this. And I want you to really sense this, see this, feel this. I want you to feel this as vividly, see the pictures as bright as you can, see all the people clapping. Yay, you got all this done. We're so proud of you. Good for you. I want you to feel the proudness, you to get all this stuff done, feel the accomplishment. I want you to come every emotion you can possibly come up with that now you can see this is resolved. And we end this with a message that this or something better will be accomplished. I will get everything done that is needed to get done when it needed to get done as it needed to get done. And it is so. It's great. So, yeah. All right, and we're going to have a chance, it looks like, that Anna is going to be joining us, which she is our next <laughs> um, guest. And so we're going to ask Anna on as we finish up this podcast that we are doing or show that we're doing together on some of the techniques that I used. So Sarah just went through three of the techniques with us, Anna, and now we're going to be having, I would want to hear back from Sarah as we finish this show up. Juan, what was it like to go through the three scenes techniques? And then we'll get to Anna in our next show about Akasic Records.
you know, in the beginning, it was really easy to go to that negative spot. I think maybe I had created a number of, of, I guess that was the place that I was in. And so that was easy. And the next phase of and, and moving into that uh, was a little bit harder to create, but it, I tried to make it fun. I tried to make it a, something about um, the steps and I like to be organized. And so it was more about using my strengths. So that was, that was easy. And then the celebration part was also easier as well, because that's really where I've been trying to go and focus on the end result and what I want. So that was really helpful and to put it into such a clear visual. So I appreciate that. Thank you. So now I want you to think about your time or disappointment with the amount of time that you feel, sorry, you do not have as my phone rings. Um, I want you to think about it now. How does it feel? Different because it doesn't, I have more of an understanding of why I feel that way because it felt just kind of abstract before. Yeah. And so I, I guess it, it's feeling, I don't know. It makes sense. Why? <laughs> Why well, I feel like there's a lack of time, but yet I have time now. So uh, it, it was really important to realize what that's about. But if, if you, if it does, that thought comes back because it is a habit. We mm -hmm. did change it in your subconscious. It does repattern, but if it does come back, I got plenty of time. I got this. There's no problem here. You know, I'm yeah. done with that or something like that. Okay. Beautiful. Well, that is the techniques that I do use in my therapy. And so if you do want to see more, you can always go to anxietysimplified.com and get in contact with us or at esapros.com to get a certified psychiatric service dog um, to have them in your life to help with anxiety. Or you can also hear uh, or go and see more about Seraphine at seraphine.com, S-E-R-R-A-P-H-I-N-E.com. We are also on all the major uh, podcast platforms. We have a radio show on Power Me Up Station on iHeartRadio, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific, and Monday's an additional show at 4.30 and 5. So you can always find us whenever you need us. But you know this is never um, uh, by any means a replacement for therapy or any medical attention if you need it. Always reach out and take care of yourself so you can live your life purpose. Bye for now.